Hi. 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 I'm Underbelly, and you suck at producing. Today, I'll show you four different techniques you can use to morph sounds together. Let's get started. Okay, so check it. My first tip for morphing from one sound to another is simple. You just crossfade between them, you dingus. Say I wanted to morph between these two different sounds here. What I could do is just add one of them to the empty MIDI track here. Press play on the clip, that's what it sounds like. And then what I can do is click on the instrument, hit Command or Control G to group it into an instrument rack, and now drag the other instrument in the chain list. So now both are going to play at the same time. Sounds like this. You can't hear these cute little bells underneath all that shouting. Jesus. So let's turn the bells up. Maybe turn the shouting down a little bit so that they're about the same level. Great. And now to crossfade between these two different instruments, what I'm going to do is click chain here on the top and drag out these beautiful blue bars all the way out. And I'm going to take one of these smaller white bars and drag it all the way to the right there and all the way to the left here. And now if I click and drag this chain selector thing up top, I can crossfade between. Now what would be really sick is if it could crossfade between the two sounds automatically. So what I could do is add an LFO to this track and map it to the chain selector. Holy shit! Okay, let's slow things down a bit. I'm going to change the rate to maybe two bars. Oh, so beautiful. What's really cool is that you can play with the shape of the crossfade here. So I can do down all the way up. I can add some crazy randomness. Holy shit! My next tip for morphing one sound into another is by using a vocoder. So I have a sexy Sally vocal right here. Don't you oh, Sally. Know that when you and this disgusting booty bass right here. And I'd like to combine the two together. So what I'll do is go back to sexy Sally and put a vocoder on her. Let's take another listen. Oh, Sally, what, what happened? <laughs> That's terrifying. Let's change the carrier from noise to external and get the audio from the sweet booty bass. Let's play them together. It's a little hard to hear what's going on with both playing at the same time, so I'm going to mute the booty bass and hear just how it's affecting the vocal. Oh, wowzers! You can hear the tonality of the bass is kind of being played through with the vocal. If I want to mess with kind of the detail and the resolution of the sound, I can tweak the number of bands here. Higher bands will have more detail. Lower bands will have a little bit more power. You can also click on Enhance. Add some more high end. And then maybe just to squeeze this all together, I'm going to put some trusty OTT on this. Turn up the low end. Wowzers, Sally, you sound great. My third tip for morphing sounds together is using convolution reverb. So for example, here I have a cute little bongo loop. Oh, sweet Derek doing his best. And what I'm going to do is add hybrid reverb to this track. I'm going to turn the dry wet to 100% and twist the blend knob all the way to the left. Basically what we've done is isolated the convolution side of the hybrid reverb. But what's really cool is you can drag your own samples into the reverb. So for example, try this teapot, drag it into the hybrid reverb. Oh wowzers! Maybe this wooden frog? Oh, what the? Okay, maybe these water drips. Oh, looks like Derek spilled all his baby formula over the drum kit again. Well, we can clean it up a little bit by adjusting the size here. Kind of messes with the pitch and the timbre. Maybe add a little bit of attack. We're shortening it with the decay. Okay, let's see what we got so far. Pretty sick. Let's add some drums. Oh, shit! Now, my fourth and final tip for morphing sounds together involves using a plugin called Morph. Here's how it works. I'm going to group all the non-drum elements together by hitting Command or Control G, and I'm going to add the Morph VST to the group. Now, the way this thing works is that you can crossfade from one sound to the other, but so far we haven't routed a second sound into Morph yet. Now, I have this amazing bass loop made by my boy Eli Derp. Let's take a listen. 
so fat. Jesus, look at that girth. What I'd like to do is morph that with all my non-drum elements that we've made so far. So I'm going to route the audio too from this track to the group with all my non-drum elements. And you'll see underneath that it says in Morph VST. So now let's go back to Morph and try messing with this uh, little crossfader here. Holy shit, that's incredible. You can really tear the sound in pieces with this thing. Thanks for watching. I'm Underbelly. Have a great day.